What's up guys? This is obviously Light Crypto and it's been a while since we have done a chain specific airdrop guide. Today we're going to be talking about Sonium which is Sony's layer 2 blockchain solution based on the optimistic rollup technology, the very same that Optimism and Basechain for example are using. And Sonium is currently on their testnet known as Minato. So everything that we're going to be doing here today are going to be free except one of the tasks. So this is a prime opportunity for the people who don't exactly have money to farm some of these high quality airdrops. This is a great speculative entry of testness in my opinion because Sony already has a significant amount of brand power compared to some of the other failures of this year like Blast, Mode and ZK Sync which have frankly kind of underperformed. So everything that we're going to be doing here today is going to be requiring Ethereum from Sepolia testnet. And there's obviously a couple of ways to do that. One of the most easiest ones is the uh, proof of work faucet. And this is one that I always use to basically get more Sepolia Ethereum. And the very first task that we're going to be doing is the actual bridge. And there is two quests uh, included on layer three right now. And... Uh, one of them includes basically just like clicking a bunch of random links and documentation about Sonium and their white paper. Just like click and, you know, proceed. And then there's going to be minting of a cube. The other quest includes an actual bridging uh, transaction. So what I'm going to be doing here today is opening up the Sonium bridge. And we have Sepolia here and then we have Minato. Uh, when you're prompting out this transaction, especially on Rabi, it should automatically add the RPC link to your Rabi automatically for the Minato testnet. And I'm going to be adding a 0.0 to Ethereum. The gas fees are actually kind of high because it's, well, apparently a lot of people are interacting with Sabolia right now. And then we're going to be hitting initiate deposit. And then we're going to be seeing a failed transaction. Let's try this again with a lower sum. Okay, it's not working. And let me try again with refreshing the page. Let's try a different number. Okay, let's try a lower number here. And let's see if that actually works out. So this is something that you can expect. I think I ran into this problem the first time I was doing this. So right now, there seems to be some type of problem. Here I have a transaction that I did earlier. So try it out till it works basically. And that's basically what I have to say about the testnet. And uh, let's see if I actually can verify this transaction and proceed since I have already uh, done this earlier. Then the second thing we're gonna be doing is joining the Discord. Now inside the Discord, there's actually a couple of um, pretty interesting things here. So number one is the Sonium uh, roles. And one of the things that you need to do actually on uh, the waiting room, they talk about the bot actually talks about uh, going into level four and this allows you to go to the main server. I don't know if it's an actual separate server or is it actually just a different room, but this is going to be one of the tasks you definitely want to do. Do not spam here because as it says, you might get banned with no appeal. And as we were looking just a minute ago, there's also this role known as Gen S, Sonium community members known as Generation Sonium. I believe that might be one of those ranks that you definitely want to get, except that you get automatically when you're going to be joining in or actually, well, actually you don't. So these two roles might be one of the criteria for uh, the speculative airdrop. Once again, Sonium hasn't really told us what they are going to be doing. I think everybody has an expectation that there is going to be an airdrop. It's a Japanese company, so there isn't exactly same types of restrictions of doing an airdrop. But it's, once again, Japanese, so airdrops may not be their, um, you know, prerogative to basically go with. But there's also potential that maybe they are going to be considering an actual uh, pre-sale. If we look at Sui, for example, it was a really good deal. So um, getting into a pre-sale is a position that you can one, sell, and likely is going to be making you money for this, uh, as long as the tokenomics are good. So basically, there's going to be a couple of cents in gas fees and basically to mint out these two cubes. So that's going to be your only cost uh, aside. Well, it's apparently 18 cents or that's the estimate. So around 
two groups that you have to pay for the gas fees or four, and then you can basically complete the quest. And there's nothing else currently going on here at layer three. So we are kind of assuming that they might be adding more down the line. Currently, there's just the bridge quest because they also had a campaign going on for giving grants for uh, people building on their blockchain. And I'm presuming that I believe on the 15th of this month, they're going to be announcing the winner. And at some point at that time period, we're going to be seeing more, net, more testnet applications surfacing. But let's uh, move on. Then we have an actual swapping site, which is also on testnet called the very long swap. And apparently this is some type of um, uh, application on... I mean, some, some type of a brand behind it. I'm not familiar with this brand, but that's what I heard on another video. So we're going to be doing a rabbit login here, or let me try the MetaMask. Just a minute ago, I was basically logged in, and now I'm not logged in. Very annoying, very annoying. Okay. Well, I don't need to show you guys. You probably know this to do. So you can do a couple of swaps in the website, and then you can also think about... Um, yeah, it's not really allowing me to log in right now. And then you can provide liquidity inside this tab and potentially, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, are we a long swap going to be doing uh, any form of uh, interrupt themselves? Who knows? But there's a potential for that as well. But you want to just have more uh, transactions inside the Minato testnet. So that's going to be probably counting the something for that potential airdrop. Then we got a couple of um, other entries which are obviously building out. I don't know if there's anything that's currently launched uh, besides, but we can see that there's a lot of already established crypto things here on the list. So I'm presuming that there's going to be more dApps coming out in the future. So pay attention to these applications over here and some type of quests that they may have with Sonium uh, down the line. And then we obviously have the classical third web uh, platform where we are able to deploy uh, all types of different smart contracts and, um, you know, any type of uh, tokens and, well, anything smart contract related. And I believe there's also support for Minato right now. Let me actually get us locked in here. It doesn't seem to be wanting to work just when I'm actually, you know, Filming, filming videos, it's always happening this way. But inside this platform, as we have covered on the previous videos, you're able to deploy, you know, um, uh, let me actually go to contracts. And here should be a deploy button if it wants to load on this century. Yeah, this is just really wanting to be retarded right now. But basically there are some default contracts that you can just click and deploy on Minato and then maybe maybe that will also count to something, but not always. And the very last thing we're going to be covering here is Yay. Yay Space is basically one of these staking platforms which allow you to multi, you know, farm multiple different uh, points. And this is associated with Asonium. And currently we have a question mark thing over here on both of the Stakestone and Kelp. Stakestone is currently already filled. There's only around 850 Ethereum left for Kelp. And Melo is going to be launching soon, which also is a Sonium partner. So um, they might be, you might want to wait for that one perhaps. But I'm already putting money on my other account on this Kelp one. And by the way, my code is JCMX7. And you're going to be getting a 5% bonus gold, um, apparently, uh, if you're going to be using that code to sign up. And here they say, yay gold, question mark, kelp miles, linea LXP, scroll marks, Egan layer, Kark XP, and kelp infra partner. And it's kind of like goes without saying that the question mark here could definitely be Sonium, especially when the mellow one comes out. So I believe that's going to be at least having Sonium. So this is another one where you can farm multiple different points at the same time and potentially part, uh, participate on the Sonium airdrop as they are adjacent project to that. However, all of these transactions on Yay are going to be happening on Ethereum mainnet, which, which gas are kind of going up a bit with these uh, crucial uh, instable times. So that's basically what we have right now. And I'm sure there's going to be more things coming into Sonium as the time goes on. 
I quickly, briefly talked about the Sonium Spark, and that's going to be, you know, the incubation program, and that's going to be bringing new apps into the platform, which you can interact with, because right now we got that one Dex, basically, and the bridge. And as far as I know, nothing else is available on, you know, on the Minato testnet. But you can bridge back and forth between um, the Sepolia and Minato, and keep transacting with the Dex, in case you get them working and obviously participate on the yay deposits too if you have some extra ethereum to basically to share but thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more chain specific airdrop guides and general airdrop guides i think we're going to be doing sonic next the old phantom not the the layer two on solana there's two projects with the same name which is kind of lame but we're probably going to be visiting uh sony and maybe a star also leave a comment down below in case you want to see guides for that but i will be bidding you a farewell right now we'll be seeing you in the next video thanks for watching